All right, hey folks, part two of today's trip out here. Uh, we just got out here to the Bay Bridge. We're going to try fishing for some sheephead and some big drum as well, maybe tall tog. Uh, we do realize it's late in the season. Jim joining me once again. Uh, but it's, it has been extraordinarily warm this year. So there's a good chance there's still some sheephead out here. Uh, plus, I just caught some like a week and a half ago. So I'm going to give it a shot, fish her a little bit, and make the best of this calm afternoon that the Lord has given us. So... All right, so what we're basically gonna do is fish this bridge here, similar to the way I was last time. I have my big heavy duty pole here, three ounce weight on it, Carolina rigged with a whole crab shelled, and like a six salt, eight ounce circle hook, I ain't sure. I'm just gonna kind of throw this down and let it go behind us as we're fishing. I'm just gonna leave it on the free spool with the clacker on. And then I'm gonna try to get me and my buddy as close as I can to this bridge. We kind of got some swells coming in, so that's going to make this a little bit interesting. All right, here we go. Got 30 seconds to make it happen. Fishing. Heck yeah, man, got one. I think we're good. If you can get them up, I can get them in for you. Yeah. On the boat. Uh, hey, that's good eating size right there. All right, y'all, I switched out rigs real quick. I was using a bottom sweeper style rig, uh, but I was having to use a pretty big one. I was scared it was going to spook stuff, so I went to just a regular hand tied single hook bottom rig here. I'm going to deal with this current a little bit better. There we go. Oh, that's a good one, too. <clears throat> Yeah, he hit it at like 15 feet. I know, mine did too. I'm trying to beat you too, my <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you over there. Like, I'm, like, I'm trying to get back to my piling. He's just burning it down. Come on up, baby. Oh yeah, that's nice. Woo! Ah! Nice. Heck yeah. Thank you, brother, thank you. I beat you. <laughs> It's a race with you, down. man. It's he great. Down to him. I was like, let me get my bait down there before he does. <laughs> 23. Shoot. That's 24, boy. What? You see that? Look at that I, I measure mine at the fork. Why well, you do that? Good. That's how you, that's how you get those 27 <laughs> inches. Tip, tip, tip. tip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't get you back over here because I got to retire. I was like, I saw, I had a bite. I was like, I got to get a filler on. And then it beat me too. I was like, <laughs> I missed mine. Uh, <laughs> it's like too close, too far, too close, too far. It's like I never can get it right in the middle. I don't understand. There, there we go. That's a sheep. Oh, yeah. I, know I, I get scared back there because of the motor. I'm like, I can get wrapped around that motor. Plus, I'm fighting the current, too. Yeah. Thank you, my man. Nice. You know, you, you, you see me get lots of bites in the middle piling than on the, on the outside, huh? Yeah, and I usually don't get to fish them out of the boat because it's, it's nice having somebody on the back to watch the back because it's hard to watch both. That's a nice one, y'all. Good fight. Pop that live well. Yeah, hit the spring. Yeah, there you go. I don't take me a break. Eat a snack. I'm gonna try to get my buddy Jim up here as close as I can. Oh, you see you lot? Yeah, you got one. You got one? There you go. All right, getting away. I feel like you don't pull very big. Maybe like 18, 20. Oh, oh no. Never know. <laughs> oh, hey, come on, done. Well, at least you still got your deal. That was a good burn there right at the end from him. Well, never know. 
All right, folks, we're just moved a little bit farther out. We're about 30, 35 feet of water here, but we a bit precarious situation. There's waves coming from that direction and also waves coming from this direction for some reason. So we don't have to be careful. All right, here we go. Oh, got a horse, got a horse. Oh, hang on, backing away. Yeah, I think so. Well, oh, she's fighting in that current too. Here we go. I'm bringing them to you. That's another keeper. Actually, that's a little big. It's a little. It's just fat. Oh, well, no, it's short. It's like a short fatty. Yeah. Here, let's have a flywheel. I just got one in there. The flywheel about full. Up, 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 up. Come on, turn, go. I'm oh, sorry, man. It's, it's, dude, we got to move. It's too sketchy right here. This, well, folks, we stopped here at the tunnel tubes and I dropped down for a test drop and like immediately hooked up. I didn't even have the camera ready. I mean, as soon as it hit the bottom. Yeah. Uh, heck yeah. That's like, look at that color on that one too. Dark, huh? You want to keep another one? Yeah, sure. We got three in there. All right, bro. You ready? Oh yeah. You all right, got me good. Yeah. That's all right. I don't know if that three ounce weight's on me enough. I don't give it a shot. Got this pole back here behind us. Uh oh. That could be good. That could be real good. Something's definitely got it. Oh, it's got some ass too. Ah! Oh, got off? It broke it off. I'd be kidding me. <laughs> that was a better sheep. You think it was a sheep or not? I don't. I don't know, man. Well, I just gotta retie it now. All right, folks, stay tuned. I got my big pole re-rigged back in the water. I had something good on it. Broke me off. Feel bad resorting to sand, please, but. I got something to die. That's a big sea bass. If that's a sea bass. Oh, that's a sheep. Again? Yep. Oh, I think you got him. You got him good. No, Sam Flea. <laughs> you still trying to keep more of these? I don't know if we can fit four more in there. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Man, how do you catch that? I just dropped it down. All right, folks, we're heading back south. It's getting a little late in the day. The wind's starting to pick up, so... We'll see what happens now. No, y'all, we're just gonna go ahead and call it. We tried to stop here by the first island and fish a little bit. The tide going one way, the wind blowing the other. Almost ran my boat into a pylon just now. Yeah, that's enough. We had an awesome day. Had some fun with some sheephead out here. Could have done better if the uh, conditions agreed a little bit more, but hey, that's fishing. Anyway, I'm gonna make this choppy ride back to Lynn Haven, get out of the water, and call it an evening. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.